and hello again and uh, today we're having a look at free plugins courtesy of Computer Music Magazine. Um, it's a regular feature of this magazine but this last month um, they featured it because uh, there's a quite large update of free plugins and as you can see there um, they have over 80 plus free plugins that you can download of which over 30 are instruments and uh, it's well worth a look. Uh, the magazine as always is always interesting and I think if I zoom over here, I think it's around about page 15 or 16. Here we go. Um, details of the plugin suite. Um, they regularly have tutorials of each plugin and information about the background of the um, plugins. Um, there's Thorn there, that's one I've looked at today. Um, Curve is another one I think I looked at today. And I think if we shoot over to page 81, it's a great magazine, 100 pages. Just slight overshot there. Um, you can get information on how to download um, the plugin suite. What you end up with is um, a zip file that you can unzip and then you have a folder for each um, plugin suite that you've shown an interest in. Um, it's fabulous stuff, well worth a look. Quality is really excellent and much better than you, you might anticipate. Um, let's whiz back to my blog. Uh, this is the um, post that accompanies this um, video. A um, little bit of information, as I say, um, what's nice about the downloads is that with each plugin, um, Computer Music have added um, a little bit of information. So, with this one, which is the Audio Realism um, plugin, um, there's just some basic information about the plugin itself, and that's just a screenshot. There's actually uh, a PDF with more information, um, well worth a look. Uh, while we're here um, you also get this referral link in the blog post which will get you um, all computer music uh, magazines um, that have been issued online um, going back to I think 2014 um, I probably should have shown you that here let's uh, let's whiz back yeah here we go so these are all the ones that you have access to and I must admit, I spend hours, I'm going to say waste, I don't waste hours, I spend hours um, looking through these, they're, they're always interesting. And it's uh, interesting to see um, what was happening sort of five years ago, or last year, six months ago, or just actually going back and um, looking at things that um, you bought yourself, um, just to see what was said about them when they came out. Um, I'm great at buying five-year-old gear and then going back and saying, oh, I wonder what they said about it five years ago when it came out. Inevitably, after five years, if it's computer-related, it's come on a long way with firmware updates and everything, but um, that's by the by. That's good news. Um, OK, so these are the ones we're looking at. We've got ADM, um, Computer Music, uh, oh, they're all Computer Music, Minibit. There's the Curve 2, Thorn and Einklang, which translates uh, to Harmony in English, which is a really interesting one with a, an interesting UI. And uh, when you open this one up, you do get the option to to um, to buy a larger version, which I haven't done, but the small version that's free here um, is interesting stuff. Anyway, if we were going any further, let's, um, oh, let's fire up uh, FL Studio, I nearly called it Visual Studio then. Old habits die hard. And let's add these plugins um, and then check them out. Now, I say check them out. What I'm not going to do is this isn't really about the audio. This is about the integration with um, Novation's new FL Key keyboards, the FL Key Mini and the FL Key 37, which I've got here. Um, and yeah, do forgive me, I can't do two things at once. Let's crack on with loading these up. Um, I'll detach them because it just makes it simpler later on. Um, this one's a nice one. You can uh, go in, you can create your own waveforms and then you can play around with it. But I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? Um, it's Harmony or Einklang. This is a German one. We'll detach that and you see that you can buy the full version or you can use the computer mu music version, which is this one, which is fully featured. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they have in the larger version. I might take a look at that um, another time. Um, the mini bit, which uh, is 
anyone who's um, into retro computer gaming, um, the soundtracks could be created on something like this. It's a very simple 12-bit, um, I think, or 8-bit um, plugin. Um, sorry, I, I got lost for a second then. Doesn't take much when you get to my age. Um, Thorn, which is a big one. Oh, let's just move. See if we can move that down here. Let's move this one across and detach it. And I'll start off over here. So on the keyboard, go into plugin mode. Just shift and plugin, and then whichever one you have highlighted, and you can see I've got highlight. What I'll do is I'll I'll make it obvious which one I've got highlighted, which I haven't done in some of the other videos. Um, and then basically you've got cut off there, resonance, all the standard uh, attack release, all the standard parameters, and then these um, two, pot seven and pot eight, are custom ones for each plugin. And the final one is normally the volume, the overall volume, or the relative volume of the plugin. Uh, so let's have a look at Thorn, same thing, cut off. Resonance, attack, release. So the idea, if, if you haven't picked up on this, is comes from um, Roland uh, Xenology instruments, where they have this high level set of uh, controls, which is, they're the controls, the idea is they're the controls that you'd reach for when you've got the sound you want, pretty much there, but you want to tweak it. And you're in the middle of composing and you don't want to fire up the whole um, plugin and, and get your mouse out. Uh, you want to be on your keyboard, tweak it, and not lose your flow. Um, I'm just going to run through all these so you can see they're all working. Without, um, this is the one I showed you earlier on, actually. So, cut off, resonance, uh, attack, release. Um, that's the speed of the LFO, which is the closest I can get to uh, modulation on this one. Um, and then there's a couple of uh, custom ones. Now. I may change some of these because I'm saying I'm changing play mode there. I'm not sure if that's something that I'm always going to want to do with this particular plugin. There might be a better um, option for um, uh, for uh, knob number seven, um, pot number seven, I should say. Um, and the final one would be volume, uh, which you can see down the bottom there. Um, okay, let's move on to harmony. Dissonance, harmonicity, which is basically uh, cut off and resonance, um, attack, release, modulation rate, uh, and then you enter these three, which you can, which they call morphing, which you can basically change the sound. And I will just, I don't know where I've left it having fiddled with the others. I should maybe change the uh, attack. just to give you a gist of what these things do. Great fun to play with. Anyway, I said I wouldn't do that. And I just did. And the last one is the mini bit. Nice simple synthesizer. You might have guessed it was going to sound like that. Um, and, but you've got a, a nice amount of control over probably the most important um, parameters there at your fingertips on the keyboard. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you today. There's a lot more, um, and I haven't I haven't been selective. These just happen to be the ones that have, have come out and been suitable, um, and I've spent the time setting them up for your uh, enjoyment, <laughs> for my enjoyment, really. Um, but uh, I hope you've got something out of that. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, please give me a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um, if I do get likes on this one, I get nice, good feedback then uh, I know that this is something that's worth doing and I'll move on to the next group of instruments. And I reckon there's probably enough for um, three or four uh, videos like this, just covering um, all the freebies that uh, com computer music uh, and the people who obviously develop the plugins uh, make available for us. So um, it's all great stuff, um, but thanks very much for your time. Um, hope you've enjoyed it um, and uh, see you again soon.